beautiful people and welcome to exciting. an exciting episode of Massive Light and I am so excited to have you join us today. How are you doing? How have you been? How service today? And I hope you're actually doing well. It is my desire that you're actually very, very fine. So it's another um, time for us to consider stories from the book of Daniel and I've actually had two episodes and this is our third one and I hope you'll be following us on this journey. If today is your first time, I would love for you to go back quickly to see the videos that we have actually done from two weeks ago. We started the first um, video we actually sh we, we, we shot, the, first, the very first episode we had, we saw the story of Daniel and his three friends and how they never compromised their standards. And then the second time, we actually saw um, a time when Daniel was faced with a challenge of um, a certain time when they said nobody should pray. And we saw that Daniel's life had God as the very, very center point of his life. So today we'll be seeing another very exciting story from the book of Daniel and we will be drawing another exciting lesson from there to run our lives as young Christians. But before we continue on this program, I'd like for us to pray shortly so that God will actually help us to learn something today. So Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. We ask, oh God, that even as we go into your word, you, you teach us, Lord, help us to do excellently well today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So today I will be um, reading from the book of Daniel chapter 3 for us to see another lesson from Daniel chapter 3 and today we will be seeing the story of three Hebrew boys who were actually faced with a particular challenge and how they were able to overcome. So quickly let's go into the book of Daniel chapter 3 from verse 1. It's a very very lengthy reading so I, I may not read all, I'll just read some important places that I want to emphasize on and then I will um, conclude. Understood. So, first, Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Let's go to um, verse 3. Then the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, everyone. Uh, please let me just summarize this story for want of time. So, what happened was that Nebuchadnezzar actually set up a very mighty image, right? And when he set up this image, he said that he wanted everyone to bow down to this image. And that whosoever doesn't bow to this image would be punished, would be thrown into a fairy furnace, you know? And at the sound of the music, he wanted everyone to bow. And it got to that very point in time when the sound of the music went up. And then these three Hebrew boys, the friends of Daniel from chapter 1, you know, there were three of them. Daniel, Meshach, um, Shadrach, and Abednego, the, the, the four of them. But at this story was only talking about the three of them. So at this point, the music went up, and then these three guys were the only ones standing. In the whole of the land, they were the only ones standing. Every other person had bowed to this image. But these three guys said, no, we are not going to bow. You know, and then the, the, the news came to the king, and the king was like, Hey, three of you, so you mean I will give an order for, for, for everyone to bow to this image? And then the three of you will say, You're not going to bow. And then they told him that, Please, sir, we cannot bow to this image. You know, very, very interesting story. Let me, let me read from, from, from verse 6 where he gave the order. I said, And so, who so fallen not down and worshipped shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fairy furnace. Verse, verse 8. Wherefore at that same time, Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. The speaker said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, live forever. Thou O king had made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the music shall fall down and worship the golden image. Verse 12 says, There are certain Jews. There are certain Jews. Now, I would love to read the whole of this story before I begin to draw my lessons, but because of time, I would like to begin to draw my lessons from this point. Now, take note of the word certain. The Bible says certain Jews. It means that there were other Jews there. There were other people who were Christians in court. There were other people who were church goers. There were other people who had the form of godliness. However, they all bowed. But certain Jews amongst them distinguished themselves. And that was why this news was coming to the king. They said there are certain Jews 
whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set. And then, you know, he continued like that. And at a certain point, the king called for these guys. He said, I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm going to give you one more chance. If you don't bow to this image, I'm going to throw you into the fire. And then he got to verse 16. The Bible says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. My topic today says, No fear in the face of adversity. No fear in the face of adversity. These guys told the king, I need you to, 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 to understand who Nebuchadnezzar was. Nebuchadnezzar was a mighty king. He ruled over so many lands as at that time. There were several provinces over his command. He had the power to do and undo. But these guys, three of them, where they were mighty men, soldiers and great men all over the provinces. And then three young men said to the king, O king, we are not careful. No, we know they fear you. For this matter, we know, we know send anything you want to do. He said, O king, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fairy furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that will not serve thy, thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. So they got to this point where they said, We will not. No matter what, if God delivers us, mm -hmm. If he doesn't deliver us, mm -hmm. but we shall not bow down to this golden image. Quickly, let me just um, say something about we and our present time as Christians. There's something that we usually do. We'll be like, eh, I will bow down, but inside my heart, I'm still worshiping God. Eh, it should be just God. God is after the heart. We find ourselves in certain places where we are forced to compromise our faith, and because of fear, and and we don't, because we don't want to suffer for the name of God. We, we give in to some of those challenges, we give in to some of those, those, those things that stand before us as, as, as adversity. We say, eh, I will just join people, let me just bow, I will just bow, but inside my heart I'm still a Christian. But we are seeing here in this story where certain young men actually stood for God in the face of adversity. They didn't fear, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't think that, oh my mother body is going to suffer, oh what is going to happen to me if, 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 God doesn't deliver me from this thing. So people will say, ah, eh, God, God may or may not even let wisdom be profitable to the We begin to quote certain scriptures to, 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 to support our compromise. But we can actually see from this story three young men who refused to, to, to give in to fear, even in the face of adversity. And as young Christians standing today in Nigeria, standing today in Ghana, standing today in India, wherever you're watching me from today, what could be the adversity standing before you? This is the story I'm trying to bring out from the book of Daniel today in Daniel chapter 3, where these guys refused to give in to the fear of the adversity. And then as the story continued, the Bible says that these guys were actually thrown into the fire. You know, when they had told the king that we're not careful in this matter. The king said, okay, sound the music again. Let me see whether these boys are not afraid of me. And then the music was sounded again, and still these guys refused. They didn't bow. They were not afraid to lose their lives, even unto death, into, even unto death, even unto suffering and pain and whatsoever that was going to come their way, whatsoever it was that the king had said. They said, oh king, we're not careful to answer in this matter. And because of that, the king ordered that these boys should be thrown into the fire. And immediately they were born to and they were thrown to the fire. The Bible even, 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 even says that the guys who threw them into the fire died because of how urgent the king's instruction was. And then the heat from the fire burns them and they died. But these three young men that were thrown into the fire, they didn't die. The Bible says God showed up for them. Because they were three that were thrown into the fire. But shortly after, everyone could see that it became four. The king said, oh, it looks like the, the son of the gods has appeared to them. It was obvious to them that God was with them. God had come to, to be with these guys in, the, in their suffering, in their pain. 
So, oh child of God, what is it that you could be facing right now? I need to understand that whatever it is you're facing, once you don't give in to the fear of your adversity, God is going to come through for you. He's going to be with you. And then, even if it doesn't come through, be like the three Hebrew boys. I said, God is able. We understand. We know who God is. He has the power to deliver us. But even if he doesn't, we know who he is. We know he is mighty. We know that he has our back all the time. And even though he doesn't deliver us, we know and understand that it is for his glory. So we have to come to this point in our lives where we understand that it is for God's glory. That whatever we are going through in our lives, it is for his glory. Whatever it is, it is for God's glory. And the very last verse, the Bible says in verse 10, the Bible says, Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. I'd like to stop here today from my, 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 my lesson from the book of Daniel. And today we saw Daniel chapter 3. The very last verse of Daniel chapter 3, verse 3, that's in Daniel chapter 30, the very last verse here in Daniel 3, which is verse 30, says that these guys were promoted in the province of Babylon. Remember that when the Chaldeans came to report them and they said that they are setting of the Jews, they had also noted that they were, they were actually rulers. They had placed them in positions of rulership. So these guys were actually leaders already. But because they stood firm, even in the face of adversity, even when there was fear, the Bible says that they were promoted. So as young Christians, as young people who, who, who want to stand for God, let's remember that God is going to show for us. And besides showing up for us, He's going to cause that we receive our promotions wherever it is that we have stood in for Him. So I want to actually trust God and believe God that you have been blessed today. And that in whatever whatever it is that is standing as an adversity in your life, you would actually stand, you will not give in to fear, you will face it, understanding that God is going to come through for you, understanding that there is a promotion even after that level in your life in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, give you the honor. Thank you for how you have helped us today to actually see another very important lesson from the book of Daniel. Thank you because you are going to help us. You will give us courage. The way you told just, uh, Joshua, you told Joshua that he should be courageous. He should not give in to fear. We ask, oh God, that you help us to be courageous people. Help us that even in these trying times, even in these end times, where there are a whole lot of people giving in to wrong things, Lord, you help us to give in to the right things. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We also pray for anyone passing through any challenge, for the sickness, whatever it is, we ask, oh God, that your peace will be breath upon that situation right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Until I come your way same time next week, my name is Toby Joseph. I'll be excited to hear from you. So please like, comment, and share. Whatever it is that you would like us to have a conversation around, I would be in the comment sessions to actually um, give you a response. And if you would like me to actually talk about anything, you could actually also put it up and we will talk about it. God bless you so much. Till I see you same time next week. Bye-bye. God bless you.